there's two types of engineer patents here, right? There's one that works on the core product. So they don't necessarily leave the building in Palo Alto, New York, wherever the office is. They're a traditional software engineer. Because of the way the company works, where you had these very large engagements with these large entities, there was a different type of engineer, which you sent into the field. So what that meant was you would spend maybe Monday to Thursday, and you would actually go into the building where the customer worked and you would work alongside them. You would literally get a desk there. That engineer became known as a forward deployed engineer. The key thing there from a business point of view, right, is the average kind of deal that Palantir had was very large, which means that you could kind of pay for this as part of the thing that the customer got. But then the job of the forward deployed engineer is not just to deploy software. It is not just to sell software. It is to actually solve the problem. And so you would have to be there. You would have to meet the key stakeholders who are actually in charge of reporting to the CEO about this specific issue. You would have to become their friend. You would have to gain their trust. And you would have to, in some cases, create new software such that it could actually solve the novel problem that was in front of you. And so you can start to see why this would be a good forge for founders.